Hello friends, it's me again. So this video is a new project. So it's project uh, AD. All right, so this is a small project to, uh, to solve a problem with the Google Form. Uh, I think I did several videos to uh, about Google to, to improve the Google Form so we can generate some uh, unique identifier uh, for the Google Form after the Respondent submit the form. They'll get a UID, right? I think uh, there are several videos to to cover the topic about this. And today I uh, just got a, a new idea. So basically, I I like to show the uh, the unique identifier in the confirmation message. Okay. So basically, something like this. I have very a simple basic form here. And you can see I have an email name, city, and the country. And this is the spreadsheet which is connected to the form. And then, as you can see here, uh, I have the name, city, country, and the email address. Uh, there is no UID column here right now. Uh, you should be able to notice that. All right, so let's try to submit uh, a response here. So let's put my email address here name, city, country, okay, so let's try to submit, so after this submission, I should be able to see a registration number here, so I call it UID 00001, okay, so uh, this can be updated later okay so if i do another a submission i should see another different uh, uid here okay so basically this could be a registration number or something else so basically you can customize your confirmation message here okay and then you can configure your uid here with a different prefix okay you also can check uh, can update the length of this digit uh, so right now by default is five digits. Okay, so let's try to uh, let, 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 let me check. Uh, let us check if we the, got the UID here. So in the spreadsheet, as you can see here, I got uh, this UID updated uh, in that spreadsheet. Okay, and uh, a new column uh, which is called UID underscore header. So remember this name is also can be configured in the script uh, I will show you later basically this is uh, an identifier uh, for the script to uh, to locate the column uh, where we should put the UID okay so basically you can remove these columns anywhere you like okay in the spreadsheet so if this uh, header is not defined the script we're going to create a default one and uh, put it at the last column uh, of your responses, okay? So let's try to submit another one to see if this ID is updated or not. So let's try to uh, create a new one. Uh, let's try to put uh, another email address here. So you will see the difference. Okay. As you can see, right now we got this new ID, which is uh, the second one. Okay, so it's O2, all right. And you see here, I've got a new ID here. All right. So I think uh, that's the, that's uh, the basic stuff uh, of this project. Uh, this is all I want to share. Uh, this new method to solve some similar uh, sim I think some similar issues which are using the Google form you, you are trying to use Google form to do something similar like this okay so so basically you need to uh, make a copy of my script to uh, if you like to have this feature in your Google form you need to have a you need to copy my script and I will show you how to configure your form okay all right let's start from here 
So here have a, have a tab here is called app logic. Uh, so I try to use this logic to explain you uh, what it, what the script is doing here. Okay, at the back end, uh, at the back end, at the background, you can see. So basically, when there is a form is submitted, we're going to trigger a script. Okay, we're going to trigger my script. So basically, this script I'm going to do, to do uh, three major steps here. So basically, this script we're going to grab the UID from the confirmation, the current confirmation message. So if you check my form here in the settings, you should be able to see a confirmation uh, confirmation message like this. So let me check my form here. Add in my form. So in the settings, you will see uh, where are my settings. Okay, so as you can see in the settings here, right now it's three now because I already submitted uh, submitted two responses and now it's updated to O3. Okay, so so by default at the in the default setting here is one. Okay, so this is a confirmation message in in my Google form. Okay. So, so basically, when there is a new uh, response, the script is going to grab the UID from the current uh, confirmation message. Okay, basically, basically, we're going to grab this UID from the confirmation message, and the second step that we do here is step three. Here, we're going to save this UID, save the current UID, to the spreadsheet. Okay, basically, save it to the spreadsheet here. So after we saved the UID to the spreadsheet, we're going to create a new UID. Okay, so here is sequential. So basically, you're going to increase the UID by one. Okay, it's going to create a new UID, which is O2 here in this example. And the script, we're going to use this new UID and update the confirmation message. So this is the confirmation message after the, the submission is completed. And uh, when the next user is trying to use this form, he will see this UID here. Okay. So, so basically, this is, a, this is a solution and this is the logic of this application or of this uh, script. Uh, I know it's, it's not that perfect because uh, maybe uh, the the worst case is like this. So when multiple people submit the form at the same time, there will be an issue, I think. Uh, you will see uh, if, if two people or multiple people submit the form at the same time, they may have the same ID. Okay, so that's the the worst case and uh, I didn't test it but uh, I don't know what we're going to uh, it, it could be cause some issues but uh, for normal business I think this could be uh, can be used for normal cases because uh, generally maybe you have uh, maybe you have uh, 10 or 100 submissions per day uh, I don't think this will be very serious problem for you okay so so basically this will solve some issues okay solve some problems uh, we are facing in google form okay so this is a logic I, I, it very, I think it is very uh, it is very simple to understand so let's let me show you how you can do this uh, in your uh, google form so for the form uh, you only need to create a new Google form, okay? So, so basically, set up your form, and uh, the only thing you need to do, you need to create, uh, create a, a default custom, uh, confirmation message, okay, in your form here, and you need to at least have one UID here, okay, by default. So normally this is like this. So by default, I put a uh, the ID, so the ID prefix uh, here, and uh, this is the digit of the, your UID lens. 
So basically, something like this. All right. Remember this UID, uh, initial UID. Okay, here. Uh, it, it is very important because uh, in the script we are going to use the same template or pattern, the uh, same temp, uh, pattern uh, here. Because if you use a different pattern of the UID, the script may not find this UID in the confirmation message. Okay, so that's very important for the form setting. So and this is only setting you need to do in the in the form. Okay, so let's go back to the spreadsheet. Okay, maybe I forgot one thing. Uh, you have to connect the spreadsheet with this form. Okay, so make sure this uh, spreadsheet is connected, which is this one. Okay, so if the spreadsheet is connected, uh, you should see this purple form icon here. All right, so this is form connected, and go to the form, uh, go to the script editor. Uh, you need to make a copy of my script and uh, just uh, copy my script and uh, copy it to uh, paste it to, to this uh, to this new spreadsheet okay to this new uh, script editor uh, script project okay copy all of my code and uh, paste it here in your new spreadsheet okay so and uh, if you don't need to update the settings for your UID you just keep all the code here you don't need to change anything all right so we, we only have three options here to do so basically uh, three parameters here so basically the first one is the header for the UID uh, so this uh, basically which is the header name uh, which is basically this header name here for the UID basically is the column name for your UID okay here by default is UID underscore header so this is the default value so you can change the value if you don't like it so you can change it here and this is a prefix so by default is UID so if you want to change something else like a ticket number or registration number or something PO number something like that so you can change it here and the last one is the length of the UID basically this is the numbers and that's very important uh, if you have uh, a lot of registrations okay so basically okay so if you change if you have to change this this prefix and uh, the length of the UID remember you also have to do the change here so basically make sure uh, in the form in the Google form this ID this UID must follow the settings you did in the script okay so this is a prefix make sure this prefix is exactly the same with the prefix here and the, the length of the digit must match the length of the UID here okay so this is a five digit so make sure this is also five digit okay so that's the only settings you need to do all right and here if you would you'd like to learn more about the script you can check this class so basically the main logic is here is in this function run function here basically is the same logic is same is same flow i already explained here okay as you can see i just uh, try to grab the current UID and uh, save the current UID to the spreadsheet and I'm uh, going to generate a new UID and update the confirmation message with this new ID okay so this is the flow which is uh, translated to this to the script here okay uh, okay I, I don't think you need to do anything else so I just want to want to keep it simple like this so one project only solve uh, one single problem okay so uh, of course you can send this uid to with an email but uh, i don't want to cover uh, i don't want to make this too complicated so just to just to solve one simple problem okay so if you'd like to send uh, this uid to uh, with email okay you can simply 
add another features here just to uh, send email here okay because you have this UID here and uh, you can send this UID to anybody you like okay so that's very easy to do I think uh, so I basically come to leave it here so I think you can figure it out uh, it is ver uh, a good practice for you I think okay so I think that's it for this project and uh, that's it for today's video thank you I'll see you next time bye bye